Welcome to Cuco Lake State Park. Located in Branchport, New York, this state park is located on Cuco Lake and offers day use beach access, three loops of campground, and a marina to paying visitors. The main bathhouse here from circa 1970 contains rear spud aft walls and top spud jet brook urinals. And there is also a smaller day use facility here from the late 60s. This one contains black logo jet brooks and black logo aft walls. And the women's room also contains a original rare Elger toilet female urinal. The building you are witnessing right now is one of three identical 1970s model camp shower houses located in the campground section of the state park. Back in 2010 and 2011, I camped here. Still to this day, using this specific shower house located in the Twin Fawns Loop is strongly engraved in my memory. Unfortunately, to our disadvantage in the mid 2010s, they renovated this camp bathhouse to accommodate new showers. Allow me to take you on a tour of what the camp bathhouse looks like right now and I'll explain to you with a drawing what it used to look like back when I camped here nine years ago. The camping season is currently closed and the other two camp loops their shower houses are locked However, for some reason, this one is unlocked. Allow me to show you inside. Some of you may remember a video from last year. This is what it looks like now. When I camped here, the original urinals were still in place. They consisted of a block logo American Standard Jet Brook and a double K logo Kohler Dairy. They were both very loud and they'd always scare me when they flush so I would always use the toilets. That is where the original handle for the original urinal used to be. A hole can still be seen where the original waste outlet for the jet brook would be. Same with the dairy. The original shower house had three toilets. Toilet stall one had a block logo aft wall. <laughs> toilet 
toilet stall too had a block logo F wall. The original bullet handle valves are still intact. And Toilet Stall 3 was an early 70s ADA stall. This is an original wall. This is an original wall. This is a new wall that was added on, as you can tell by the different tiling. There used to be a regular stall partition here, separating the ADA toilet stall from the other two. However, they removed the ADA toilet stall and they turned it into a shower. In here, there used to be two showers. They have now turned this into one big ADA shower and added a floor mount toilet as an ADA stall. This wall is original and it separated the two showers from the three toilet stalls. They kept it. In the women's room, there used to be a similar gig. Stall one used to have a wall hung sandy stand women's urinal with black logo. It was replaced. They moved the original handle from there to there. Stall 2 had a block logo F wall. Stall 3 had a block logo F wall. Stall 4 had a block logo F wall. And here is the old ADA toilet stall. Same as the women's room. You can still see the old outlines from the toilet and replaced brick walls. The old handle used to be there, and they added this wall to replace the stall, stall partition. They added in a floor, not a toilet. There used to be two showers here. This bathroom is a great example of how vintage bathhouses are cleverly being converted into more modern style bathrooms. Unfortunately, to our dismay, that means removing the vintage toilets that we all love to see. However, in the long run and for the realistic world, it is for the better. If you would like to further understand the transformation that the bathhouse went through. I have drawn crude pictures of the men's room so you can better see the transformation. Here is the old layout, what it would have looked like back 10 years ago when I stayed at the campsite. You have your jet brick. Jetbrook, Dairy, Afwall, 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 and the ADA stall. Two showers.
Now what they've done, they replaced the rear spud jet brooks with two new wash brooks. They had to be top spud because the wash the rear spud wash brook would have not fit into the pipe setup for the old jet brooks, and they can't install a new jet brook because they were discontinued a few years earlier. They replaced the old aft walls with new aft walls. They took out the aft wall and the ADA stall, but it's rather installed a shower. They installed a new wall here. The old wall separating the showers is still there. And I forgot to draw it, but there's a shower here. There's a little stool there or something. And they put in a sink and a new Madeira. Um, I think this transformation was very smart because you have the same number of urinals, the same number of toilets, the same number of showers, but you have more ADA space. Um, and that's something that definitely is needed and expected in this new day of age. Um, I think more transformations like these you, you should start to expect uh, in the coming years. Maybe they might try to salvage some of the old fixtures, um, but you've noticed since the 80s, 90s, 2000s, the ADA stalls have all become gradually gotten bigger. So I think this is an excellent design um, transformation. It works great. Yes, it's sad that the old fixtures are gone. However, um, now this beautiful old building and live up to modern expectations for many more years to come. Probably another 40 or 50 years I would give this building now that they, these three buildings, now that they've done this transformation.